dead. Because you were right on me. When I got this sign, I immediately went to God. And the first word I heard God say to me was Amor. I said, what? I said, wait, 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 wait one minute. He said, I understand that your thief is well able and ready. But some of y'all went AWOL in the spirit. I said, well, God, what in the world do AWOL mean? Now, this is me and God talking loud, and, and I'm talking back, and he talking to me. But see, you got to have those kind of conversations, but you need a relationship before the convo can go on. All right, all right, all right. All right. So I said to God, what in the world do AWOL mean? He said, first of all, it's a military word. I said, well, watch out now. Watch out. Watch out. I, I got dressed down south and my sister is in the army. And I said, sis, let me grab one of those real army uniforms. She said, girl, if you can fit in. I said, girl, listen, listen here. I was 235. I done lost a lot of weight. Now, I'm going to get into this 12. And I got into this 12. I said, look at God. From a size 24. I said, the reason why I said let me stop, 
is because I had to check my heart to see if the heart was in. Some of y'all need to take a pause and check your heart. Because if you got any ill will against your sister and you're talking about people in the house of God and then you get up in their face and you Because half of them is backwards. So they need to get backwards so they can go forward. Did y'all just hear that? That lightning went off in my head. I said, whoa. Some of them is backwards. And they need to get because you're looking for man's, man's, man's approval. You can't walk close to vision if your heart is not for them. And you can't walk your heart is not for that. Why? Because now you trying to do what Satan, your father did. He got close to Jesus, but then he wanted to overthrow. And there's a lot of overthrowers in this house. Throwing your weight the wrong way. I, 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 I just came to talk. I just came to talk. Anyway. Now understand that the theme is war. Will and able, ready. But the Father wants me to tell you again on this morning. Jesus. Woo! That before you be willing, able, and ready, you gotta get back on your post. Because it's a fight to the finish. And then I heard him say that because it's a fight to the finish, we as soldiers supposed to be dressed for battle against rules and authorities and they're headed by Satan who is a vicious fighter. He don't play fair. So stop trying to be killed. Like I say when the devil defeats you. I say when the Lord rebukes you. You better get up. Say it. The Lord rebukes you. Ain't no say it. The Lord rebukes you. And people overthrow your throne. You can be an ugly for the Lord. Because that same spirit you speak it to lightly, he gonna stand up. And tell you, I don't know you. And you will be scared. Yeah. Okay, I'm just talking a little bit. We'll get to who, how, how, whatever. But anyway, he's a vicious man. And why? Because he roams around like a lion, a roaring lion, seeking whom he can devour. That's why you have to be alert in your spirit. There should be some alarms going off. You know, you know when somebody is about to enter into your house, you would hear something a little bit. Yeah. A little bit of noise. A little bit. But you have to have the ear to hear. Oh my God. Stop listening to the wrong voice. Because God said, my sheep know my voice. And another one, it won't harm it. So who is your God? Okay, go back. That be alert in your spirit. And we must depend on God's strength and use every piece of your arm. I didn't read the word, but you can go back to Ephesians 6 and read it until you get it in your spirit. But when you get it in your spirit, put on the whole arm of God and make use of it. We talk a good game, we read the Bible day in and day out, but do we take it? 
and working and believing. You got to become the word. Okay. I'm not just only talking about leaders, but I'm talking about the whole body of Christ needs to be armed and dangerous. Because if my sister is in need of help, did y'all ever watch that movie with Gone Gone Pond? No, what was his name? The one that ran all the way around. Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. Did you see how Forrest Gump picked up his friend? Yeah. All the boots were flying. He didn't think about that. He thought about his injured friend. And we are so evil to one another in the house of God. Don't y'all understand that we're in this state together? Yes. So if you see your injured buddy, because we are body of Christ. There's no church greater than the love. God coming back on all of us. Not Holy Trinity, not Church of Hope and Revival Center, not the church that sits on the hill with a thousand lights. He coming back for faith and the Holy Ghost. And if you don't have yourself built up, you're going to be fooled. Amen. You better get to know who God really is right now because we're living in the last days right now. People don't want to talk about the book of Revelation, but we're in those scriptures right now. And if you don't get it right in hell, we're going to lift you out. So what inside of hell could you possibly want? Because we as Christians think we don't have no sin. If you're talking about your brother and sister, that's a sin right there. Only time you should be talking about is when you're building them up. That's right. So examine your hearts. I understand you got on your clothes, but you need to get back on your post in the spirit of God. God told you to do something and you went all the way around the left field because you worried about what somebody think of you. Why does it matter? They don't got no heaven or hell to put you in. So get back on your post. And what until God come? Yes. Yes. Listen. I don't need these notes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need these notes. But I want y'all to know one thing. If you got the word of God hidden in your heart, it should make you uneasy even when you think wrong. That's what God wants us to get at right there. Oh God, I just thought about that person so wrong. Please help me. Help me, forgive me. I am so wrong. It's just that easy, just that simple. But we make a little thing out of a mountain and a molehill, and you'll be so vexed in your spirit because you don't spoke ill will of somebody else. But get back on your post and fight to the finish because it's almost ending. And we ain't got no time to waste. We all in this together. And if you don't get your act together, I don't care how good you look. And I don't care how good you smell. Your clothes ain't gonna get you nowhere. But it's with the heart that God is searching. And if your heart is not right in here,
of us are preachers. Preaching and teaching the word, but the heart is far from it. You know why? They forgot that preaching is a gift without repentance. So they give it and do whatever they want to do. He put the best in it. Shine. 
You don't have to worry about being dressed and not fit. I like that. You don't have to worry about being dressed and not fit. Because the fitness takes place in the heart. Because according to your faith, be it done unto you. If I was asking y'all the question today, what does your faith say about you? Could you give me an answer? Pray my strength and love.